Thank you and welcome to the Melbourne Zebra Experience Center or ZEC. I'll chat to you later, Bob. This is a place where you as a customer can book out this center and speak with Zebra staff and sales engineers about your current pain points. Um, we look into your current inefficiencies and ways that technology can you know, solve those problems. And the beauty is you're surrounded by products and solutions from Zebra. So as a topic turns towards a certain solution or, or model or device, we can grab that, show it in action, and really get those creative juices flowing to, to think about new ways of doing business. And invariably, our customers walk away from this room with a lot of new ideas of how technology can solve their problems. So today's um, you know, session, we wanna really show how we use the Experience Center. And um, you know, we're gonna do that by introducing our brand new flagship device that's gonna see us through to the next few years. And um, we're gonna talk beyond that device. We're gonna talk about the ecosystem of that device as well. So think about the value-added accessories that, that give you more, more functionality for your devices. The, the tools like the visibility operational tools that give you insights into how the devices are running. Uh, cabinets, which give you ways of storing, you know, physically storing the devices. So, so well, let's get started. I'm gonna introduce Harry Banyas, one of our sales engineers who you should know and love. He's been around for a long time. That's a little bit too long, some would say. Harry. Yeah, Dan, how are you? Thank you. So Harry, you're gonna talk about the brand new TC5358 flagship product. Tell us a bit about let's it. Let's go. So um, you're right, and this is the thing. The, the new uh, TC5358 has built from, been built from the ground up. So. What does that mean, right? So we, we look at the, the latest generation that we've had in the five series. That's lasted us for what, five years, going on six years, I think now. This one here has taken on the best of the world of what that has, plus whatever customers want today. For instance, 5G. Customers have been asking, when's 5G coming out? Well, you've got it with this one. And it's really, this is the first mobile enterprise device with 5G, I believe. It is, yeah. it is. And the other, the other one as well is, I know a lot of customers out there have been upgrading their Wi-Fi networks. So this now has uh, Wi-Fi 6. So now, you know, you can lead in the, the bigger display on it. It's got a six inch display and full HD. So what that means is their applications now, whether they want fast transition of uh, mobile apps, <clears throat> transitioning over the, uh, the network mm. to uh, full HD display, which allows them to that, that multi-function uh, application. And, and, so, and with the size, you know, the, Applications are becoming much more graphical these days as well. It is, so it is, yeah. I think the, the, the graphical process is like 400% faster than the, the, the previous TC5 device. So that big display will obviously take, take you know, the, the, the use of that, you know, take the most, make the most of that. So. It, it is, it does. And, um, and also on the back, you know, we've got the, the battery, removable battery. We've now got four different batteries, of battery options that uh, customers can have. So uh, not only do you have the standard one and extended one, <clears throat> you've got wireless charging option and you've got a uh, Bluetooth BLE uh, battery as well. So uh, this fits any customer's uh, situation, right. no matter what the requirement is. And, and this is the brand new Qualcomm chipset. So it's, it's the latest and greatest, it's a premium version. And it really is, you know, with the way um, things are going with uh, the businesses, we're getting more and more applications and functionality onto the one device. So that's gonna see us through in the next few years. But one thing to, um, it's really game changing, that I, we never see on any mobile computing is this new dimensioning functionality. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, that's right. So <clears throat> what we've done here is that the, the back where the camera is just underneath, it's, uh, we've got a time and flight sensor. So what that means is basically it allows the technology of the, uh, the device now to take a, uh, a capture, a measurement of a box in all three dimensions, the X, Y, Z, right? So you get your length, your width and your depth. Let's, so, let's have a demo, let's have a quick that's look. That's it. I'll cast <laughs> it to the screen here. There we go. So I'll just uh, start the app. So we've got a little mobile dimensioning app here. And look, it doesn't matter if there's other labels and stuff on the, um, on the actual box. And all I, all I need to do is just hover that red dot in the middle of that um, box. And when I'm ready, I just hit the capture button. And there you go. So what we've done there is we've got the, the, the three planes. And the way it actually works, the technology is really clever on this because what it does is it looks at the ground floor and works the height of the, uh, the top of the box. And that's how you get your depth. When I first started testing this, I thought, how come it's not working properly? What's going on? Because I was trying to aim at the corner of the box, thinking, right. okay, I need to get that three-dimensional look, yep. but you don't. So if you think about, you know, as parcels are coming along or boxes are coming along, all you need to do is just be straight on top right. and bang, bang, And bang. I know even with the, the, the sticky label or, or the, the, you know, the, the tape, it didn't really affect the, the speed of, of Yeah, because if you have a look at the, at the box it's, itself, right, we've got, um, you know, a yellow label on there, you know, a, yep. a white label and, and the tape down the middle. That didn't, let's, that didn't let's move on. 
Sorry, don't want to brush, but let's, um, it's also got a brand new scan engine in it, which is an advanced range scanner. That's right. Do you want to talk yeah. a little bit so about that? So that, uh, that new scan engine, so if we just open up our, our normal scanning app, and you can see, I can get really close on this one. No surprises there. But as I go back, and I can keep on going, right? So, you know, you look at the, the distance there, and what am I now? Two, three, almost four metres. Yeah. Dan, we're going to need to get a bigger room here. <laughs> we're going to have to take it to the MCG and, uh, and start demoing this stuff. So you can see there, what's that? It's about five metres away, and that's fantastic, right? So, so that's the new SE 5500 scan engine. And of course, the barcode you know, symbology and mill size, that has an impact in to how far you can scan, but you can see you know, the range of that. The range quite, there, yeah, yeah the, the power on that. So again, that's why we're saying this is a game changer, next generation five series, because yeah. you can see just in, in the space of you know, a few minutes there, we've been able to showcase you know, the, the differences and the highlights of what this uh, device has. So you know, over to you guys to, to let us know what you want and um, you know, in terms of applications, and this is ready to go. All right, thanks, Harry. So, obviously, as you can see, uh, game-changing device there, the next generation TC5. So, let's talk a bit beyond that device now. So, you know, I mentioned accessories, and there's a whole range of accessories here. We don't have time to go through all of them. But again, another game-changing um, piece of piece of hardware is this Workstation Connect Cradle, which um, has a, a bunch of peripherals available to it where you can plug in anything, basically, um, including this display. This whole display that we're showing is run from this. Uh, mobile computer, and it's not just mirroring that device, it's a, it's a full, you know, Android laptop. So it's basically like a separate second computer with the same device. So think about, you know, you're walking around your, um, your, your office floor, you don't want to take up too much bench, bench space with um, full computers, you can just have a, a display and, a, and a, a, a cradle that you plug in your own device when you're ready to, to, you know, I don't know, look up an item for a customer or complete a payment. So this really opens up that functionality there. All right, let's move on. So we mentioned accessories, devices. Let's talk a little bit about visibility. Um, we have an operational insights tool or dashboard, and it's called Visibility IQ Foresight. Some of you are aware of it, um, but it's getting more and more important um, in today's world, right? Um, more and more devices are in the field, and the operations manager needs to know what these devices are doing. Are the batteries lasting the full shift? Are they old batteries? Um, are we utilizing the devices in the right way? So this tool gives you that ability to really see that information. And if I just, again, using this workstation cradle, I will just choose the visibility IQ dashboard. Hit the icon. Um, this is it, this is a live dashboard. You may not be able to see the details, but the, the concept is you have a bunch of tiles they represent a report, and we have traffic light colored coded. So, you know, this lifeguard analytics report's currently in a state of red. So it's saying that, okay, maybe your security patches are out of date. So a lot of functionality, very easy for an operations manager to use. They can't break it. They can't, you know, send down files to a device. So it's, it's something accessible to all the users at the customer site. Um, so I would say the, the main, reason why a customer would want this is that it helps the devices and technology stay out of the way of their actually day-to-day -day work, their workflows. You, you know, you don't want a user to be trying to do their job, scan, and then the, the battery dies halfway through the shift, or, or they have to reboot the device, or they've lost the device. You know, you want the technology that they've invested in to, to just do its job and stay out of the way. This tool is essential for that. So, all right, we've discussed the device. The, the accessories, the, you know, the, the hardware accessories, the visibility. Let's move on to the physical management of the devices with our intelligent cabinet. So let's we'll head this way. Okay, here we have the intelligent cabinet and here we have the equally intelligent Chinsec, one of our SCs from the Marmon office. Chin, I can see it's obviously uh, a cabinet. Can you tell us a little bit about the hardware first? Sure, exactly. Uh, so this is uh, a small size of intelligent cabinet. It can fit about 30 devices. And you, we, it does come with a large and extra large uh, size, so it, you can fit you know more devices if you okay. if you need to. Shall we have a look inside? Sure, absolutely. Now, it's, uh, caveat: the blue light you've added as an extra little feature for yourself. That, that's not with the product, is that correct? That's not part of the product. Okay, fair enough. So, just uh, just tell us about what we see here. So basically, you can see that the, when the device is on charge you can see the battery status on this device. So it's, it's green, that means it's fully charged battery, and you can see that it's orange, which is not a fully charged. But you come to the 
cabinet to pick up the device to start your shift, you obviously want to pick the fully charged battery device to start your shift. Okay, and I, I guess the concept of this is you want a user to come in, quickly grab an appropriate device that's got fully charged. Exactly. So. Um, yeah, you, you want to start your shift with a fully charged battery, mm. you, you don't want the half charged battery that you know you have to come back to replace your battery all the time. Okay, and it's very clean, like there's no cables or, or um, power supplies, I think that's a yeah, good that's, feature. Yeah, that's a smart part of it, right? right? And so you can see that there's, there's no power supply lying around, it's, mm. everything is neat and clean, you can users just come and see which one device is fully charged, they just grab straight away and okay. they don't have to spend the time to look for which, which device is not charged and they have to put it back. So, and, so I guess it's a physical place to put your devices, but it's also, it gives users the responsibility to know that they've got that device exactly. and, and they have to return it. So you want to talk a little bit about that? So that's another part of this uh, intelligent cabinet. So, um, so as soon as you pick up from the charger, the, there's the count, uh, timer countdown there. So within 60 seconds, you have to sign in with your personal pin. So you can also scan your employee card mm -hmm. by signing in. So once you scan, that means uh, you are responsible for this particular device. So by the end of the day, if you come back with crack skin, the supervisor will know that you know who signed in last and who damaged the device. Right. So, so I guess the beauty is you can grab a device and then walk away and, and sign in. So you're not blocking in the cabinet for other people. So you, you grab a device, it's fully charged, you walk away, you put your pin in and go about your business. And um, I guess, well, let's have a look at the, the, the kiosk because that's kind of relating to what's happening here. So I'm not sure you noticed before, it was nine device in the cabinet. The show screen and zero in use and one is missing. So as soon as I sign in, the uh, yellow turn become one because I sign it as one person sign in. And, and so that one is that device you've just signed in. Yeah, okay. exactly. So if there's one missing, it could be someone that's by end of the shift that didn't return the device. You know, they put it somewhere else that they didn't return it back to uh, the charger. Right. And and how do we get from in use to on charge? What happens then? So as soon as you drop it back to the charging station, it become. So, so you don't need to log out, you put it back in the, in exactly. the cradle and it you, automatically... You sign out automatically as soon as it's dock on charge. Okay. Uh, well, that looks great. Anything thing else you want to mention about this solution? So this is a, this is a very, very uh, clean and neat solution. And, and also, you know, user get, uh, the supervisor will get notification if the device not returned uh, back by end of the shift, you get an alert or email address, uh, email notification to the supervisor. Right. So, so you can allocate when the shift is, is should be finished and when the device is due back. Yeah, you, you can configure it, uh, absolutely configurable on how long the shift for each shift. So it can be six hours, eight hours. It depends on your uh, operation. And as soon as the six hours time is is down, then you know if you send an email notification to the supervisor, they say the device is not back to the uh, charger by end of the shift. Okay. Great. All right. Well, thanks very much, Chin. So, so there you have it. I do encourage you to bring in your customers into this experience. And there's a whole lot of other you know, solutions and demos that we can show you. Um, but this is not the only Zebra Experience Center we have in Australia. We also, also have a Zebra Experience Center in Sydney. And we do have John standing by right now in the Sydney Zebra Experience Center. So over to you, John, to tell us a bit about it. Thanks, Dan. And thanks everyone online for taking time out of your busy days to spend a little bit of time with us talking about, you know, the, uh, the, the things that have got us excited and what's coming down the pipes in Zebraland. My name's John. I'm one of the SEs out of the Sydney office and I'm coming to you live from the Sydney Experience Centre, where, you know, I think we've done a pretty reasonable job, not just you know, mirroring what we've got down in Melbourne, but, you know, without getting too parochial, I think we've done a pretty good job of man, a little bit better. I'll let you guys be the judge of that when you come through yourselves. Um, I think the, the team down in Melbourne have done a fantastic job showcasing what we can do here. And that's have solutions oriented conversations about technology, right? We're not just putting a device on a table and running through a slide deck. We're able to really double click on what's meaningful on the solution the value that that derives for your end users, the people at the coalface who actually have to interact with this technology every day. You know, we're not just talking about, oh, you know, it's a scanner that can read this barcode or a printer that can do, you know, this DPI at this speed. Um, we're able to demonstrate, here's your label format coming out of the printer. Here's what it looks like. Here's how we can tweak it to make it better. Here's how that barcode scanner performs. And here's how can we, we can tweak that to make it better. If we change print settings or scan aggressiveness, we can show devices talking to Bluetooth peripherals, talking to printers, talking to our location services. You know, it all comes together here uh, in a really meaningful way. And uh, that's one of the things I wanna show you guys today because one of the other really nice things about the Experience Center is we get the new stuff here first. 
One of those things being, uh, I don't know, the keen eyed among you may have noticed, on the table behind me, I've got the updated version of our Workstation Connect Cradle. Now, for those of you who haven't had experience with it, the Workstation Connect Cradle is a product that's been with us for about two years now, and it gives us the ability to take a Zebra device, drop it into the cradle, and I maintain my device, but I also get a dedicated, discrete, standalone desktop experience driven by keyboard and mouse, talking to USB peripherals like barcode scanners or printers. Hell, I can turn a device into a fully fledged point of sale lane or receiving dock or training PC in this way. There's some really, really cool additional cases that we can start driving with a mobile device now all within the same security context of your existing operations, right? So we can lock it right down so you can't launch apps or you can only launch certain apps or we have specific shortcuts or you can't get to settings. It's completely configurable and really, really quite cool. Like I said, the product's been with us for about two years now, but the current generation takes a lot of that feedback um, and, and rolls it up into a much nicer package, if I do say so myself. So you'll see we've moved all of the ports to the back. We've put a cowl on it so that uh, users can't get access to those ports, which is a kind of nice thing from a security perspective. We've canted the angle back to make it more uh, convenient for web conferencing. So there's some really, really nice applications that we can start driving through the workstation cradle. And I'll show you that now. So let me grab my TC53 and we'll go on over. Right, so as you can see, I've got on my desk here, I've got a Zebra scanner, I've got my workstation cradle, keyboard, mouse monitor, and I know I tapped them out of order, but what are we gonna do? And in my hot little hands, my TC53. If I close Google Play, I'll drop that into the cradle. And the nice thing about this solution is just how easy it is. Because I take my device, I put it in the cradle, it enumerates its USB devices, and that's all I need to do to make it work. Not bad. So over here on the device, I can open up my phone and I can interact with the, the device just as I normally would. But over here on the desktop, I can open Chrome, for example. And that runs in full screen. Or I can shrink that down so that I can open Chrome and files at the same time. So I can drag that over there and I can resize things. So I can change the, the, the way that applications behave and use this as a desktop. You can see down the bottom, we've got some icons so I can move apps back and forth from the device to the desktop and open them up here on the desktop, or I can send them back to the device and they open up over here on the device. Um, you can even see, hopefully, that I've got a barcode scanner plugged in. If I had a barcode on hand, I'd be able to scan straight into that which is uh, kind of nice when you start thinking about some of the additional value add applications we can drive with this baby. And when I'm done, all I've got to do is grab the device back out of the dock and all the applications move back to the device and I keep on using it just like normal. So the Workstation Cradle is going to be available on a variety of Zebra devices, not just the TC53, the TC20 family, the ET40 family. We're opening it right up. So uh, if you want to see that for yourselves or see any of the other solutions that we've got on offer, please reach out to your friendly local Zebra and, uh, and make a time to come on through because we absolutely love hosting people here. Uh, that's all I've really got for you guys right now. So I think I've waffled on enough. Uh, I'll, I'll throw back to you uh, down in Melbourne, Dan. All right, thanks, John. And not to be outdone, we have, I would call it a demo room, maybe for hobbits in the uh, Auckland office. So let's throw to Rico to talk about that one. Thanks, Dan. Kia ora. And welcome everyone to New Zealand, or should I say Middle Earth, home of the hobbits. As Dan mentioned, we have our own demo room here in Auckland. It's kind of like a mini experience center. Not as flashy as the Sydney and Melbourne ones, but hey, it's still very comprehensive. We have a whole range of mobile computers, printers, scanners, tablets. We can even demo some of our visibility and management tools. And sometimes we even get our hands on the latest and greatest ahead of the Aussie guys, like this one, which is our new WS50, an all-in-one wearable computer. It combines a data scanner and a mobile computer in one. So instead of having a mobile computer strap on your arms or wrist, and a separate Bluetooth ring scanner, you have a single device. Other tools that we can demo here is our Printer Profile Manager Enterprise. It's a printer management platform where you can remotely configure printers, do firmware updates, do profile provisioning, 
even gives you alerts and notifications. So like this one, I've got a printer here, a mobile printer. And um, if you look at that screen, the green area tells me that this printer is all good and clear. However, if I open up that head, it turns red right away, telling me that, hey, the head is open. You need to investigate and look into the printer. If I close that head again, it turns green and telling me that, hey, it's all good and clear again, right? So it's very intuitive, very powerful, you know, very good for remotely managing printers. So that's just a quick run through of the demo showcase available here. Um, feel free to reach out to us and schedule a meeting, schedule a demo. Um, you know, we, we can work with you and uh, so that you can learn more about the Zebra solutions. So I guess that's all for me from Middle Earth and back to you, Dan. Okay, that's it from us. As you can see, we have a bunch of SEs ready and waiting to give you Experience Center tours. So please book those meetings today. Now back to you in the central commentary position.